Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words, become much more articulate. In today's episode, I'm going to be giving you a very innovative framework in order to breathe some life back into your routines. I get it. You've been productive for a very long time, but at this stage, something about it is not feeling right. It feels as though that the productivity is beginning to lose its life and nowadays you're thinking, well, what's the point? Why even be disciplined in the first place? I should just be uh, playing the Nintendo GameCube or something like that. And this is a completely normal human emotion to experience. And I want to give you a simple framework that will help you out of this rut. A couple of months back, there was a certain period where I really did not like to read. Yes, I said it. And this is a problem not for too many other brands, but it is a big problem for the Armani Talks brand because this brand deals somewhat with communication skills. And if anyone wants to improve their communication skills, they need to understand RLSW, reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Reading is a staple of the Armani Talks brand. And whenever I'm not reading, what happens is that it's more difficult to get the ideas out there. A lot of authors will tell you the same insight. A lot of speakers will tell you the same insight. So I knew that I was supposed to read, but there was an issue. The issue was that I normally have my day broken down into different blocks. I start off with some fitness. I do some sort of creating. I do some sort of consulting and such. And at the end of the day, roughly, that's when I began reading. But it had gotten to a point where for these first couple of blocks, it was so intense that by the time that it was time for me to read, I was thinking, all right, I'll read the book, but here's the catch. These authors better not be getting cute with it. They need to be getting straight up into simplicity and they need to be simple with their language. I open one of the books and here's this author sounding like William Shakespeare. I'm like, look, man, I really don't have the mental bandwidth for something like this. So for the next couple of days, I noticed that intellectually, I was supposed to be reading, but each time I just kept talking myself out of it. One day, I decided to do something. I was like, you know what? Instead of making reading the last activity you do, how about you make it the first activity, even before the gym? So after I would wake up, I would you know, get ready for the day, and then I would begin reading. Once I was done with this activity, I kid you not, there was this charge in my body. I felt good. And as I felt good, I'm like, well, let's go to the gym. And then I went to the gym, and then I ended up doing the other blocks of activity. At the end of the day, I felt so freaking good. And I was thinking, what changed? I mean, technically speaking, I still did all the activities that I always do, but something about today was different. What was it? What was it was that I ended up having the same activities, but I just aligned them in different ways. And since I aligned them in different ways, it fooled my body into thinking that I had introduced it a new routine. So if you're someone that is finding yourself being bored with your current routine, the typical thing is to just blow everything up and start all the way over, which may work for certain groups of people. But a very simple resolution is to think of, okay, what activities am I doing? Let's say you're an athlete. Let's say you watch film, you do weight training, and you shoot a ball. And lately, you have not been watching film. You've been saving it for the end of the day and just like, oh, I don't know if I can even do it. Well, rather than doing it at the end of the day, just play around with the blocks and, I don't know, do it in the beginning of the day. And once you do this activity and you're like, whoa, I just got the hardest part over with, the other activities are done with more joy. Every now and then, the blocks will be different. Uh, sometimes I really like reading, but let's say I hate consulting or, or vice versa. Sometimes I'm really excited for a consulting call, but I'm very irritated with reading. Uh, whatever you're irritated with, I recommend you do it in the beginning. Uh, or 
I don't want to give you too much tips right now because then it's going to uh, lose the gist of the message. The gist of the message is identify the blocks that you are operating with and every now and then realign the blocks in different ways and watch it breathe back life into a lifeless body. Suddenly, you're going to be like, hey, I don't need to get rid of the productivity completely. I just need to realign the blocks that I already possess. So try this tip out for yourself and get yourself out of this rut. If you enjoyed today's talk, drop that like for me right on below. And thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel.